and one simple item be used to remove decades of ring wear, dust, dirt, and all sorts of other crap that have accumulated on your record jackets? Today, we're gonna find out. So a while back, I saw a post on Instagram from the good folks over at the Record Center in Ottawa that were discussing that a lot of ring wear on records is actually just ink that is transferred from other records that it rubbed up against over the years, and it can be quite easily removed by using just an eraser. Well, not just any eraser. These aren't the kind that you would use when you were a kid and you were drawing, but they're erasers that are used for more artistic purposes when you're dealing with more sensitive mediums. Uh, so I decided that it would be fun to get some of these erasers and go through some of my records that had varying different degrees and types of ring wear and other kind of stuff that's accumulated and just to see how effective these erasers are at cleaning and preserving and bringing new life into my records. Here they are, these are the Prismacolor erasers. They are the Magic Rub. Ooh. So these on the back say that they're vinyl erasers that are designed to erase delicate drawings cleanly. They absorb graphite and erase India ink and they're latex free. So in theory, if a record jacket has just some basic, maybe some dark crap that's accumulated, this should realistically take it off. I have picked out a few different records from my collection and we are gonna see if it is up to the task of removing the crap from them. First up is my copy of King Crimson's Starless and Bible Black. I picked this as an example because the record is white or cream color and it has this really defined ring of sort of black that I thought was ring wear, but I think it's actually just ink that should be able to get off. So I'm curious to see how this one fares versus any of the other ones I have. Okay, so it's it's taking it off. I thought it would take it off a lot easier, but it's, it's doing its job. Um, this record is quite dirty, so I think it would be a lot of work if I wanted to clean up the entire thing but it's definitely removing a lot of the mark. I can still see a slight bit of ring wear even after I've kind of given it quite a bit of effort, but it's disappearing. If I spent a lot of time and then put a lot of elbow grease into getting this off, I think that I could clean this up pretty nicely. I mean, yeah, it, it's this thing has a lot of crap on it, um, but it's working. Ooh. One thing to be careful, I was starting to get into the ink on the King Crimson letter and it started to kind of pull a little bit off. So yeah, without spending too much time on it, uh, it does have quite a bit of an improvement. It took off a lot of the dirt, a lot of the stuff that was on the surface. I am a bit skeptical about using this method on records that aren't white or cream color, but we're gonna try it anyways. <laughs> Overall, pretty good. I don't know if I want to continue because this is gonna be a lot of work and frankly, I don't really care if the record looks that much better, but uh, if there's dirt in areas where there's not printing, uh, I think this definitely would work. Uh, next up, we have my copy of Kate Bush's The Hounds of Love. This is another one that is a white record that has quite a bit of a dark ring around it. I also picked this one because it has some what look like, I don't know, cigarette burns or something that someone did something to damage the record in other ways. So I'm curious if that the eraser will be able to pick up some of that or if it'll just be able to get rid of the blackness. Okay. So yeah, the dirt is coming off uh, quite a bit easier than the King Crimson record. This record also has a bit of a glossy finish, which I think has helped the dirt to come off a little bit easier. It's not really stuck in sort of part of the paper now. Um, so that's another tip too. If it's a glossy finish, it's more likely to be able to be removed. Yeah, that's good. It's. I would definitely recommend this. I think that if I spent a decent amount of time, I could get the entire ring off quite easily. Um, we're gonna check out the cigarette butts now and see if those will get removed. Uh, no. <laughs> no, the uh, cigarette burns are still gonna be there forever, but uh, the rest of the record's looking pretty good. This one is a lot better than the King Crimson record. I think 
it's just because it's glossy. But yeah, pretty, pretty good. So the part that I cleaned with the exception of the, I guess the cigarette burns looks brand new, which is pretty remarkable. Cause I mean, this record's 35 years old and uh, looks great. So I think that this really was a success. So we've established that these kind of glossy albums that are lighter cream or lighter colors are probably gonna be able to have some of that crap removed by the eraser. But what about records that have a lot of what looks like ink transfer that probably left to another record. Here's my copy of Joni Mitchell's Blue. The back has a lot of ring wear, uh, this very clear white circle. However, there is kind of some dirt and kind of bits around it. I'm wondering if there's a way that by using the eraser, I can even make it look just a little bit better. All right. Hmm. I'm not seeing it do a lot so far. In fact, it might be making the record look worse. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I think that when the wear is very clearly white on a record that is printed a certain color, um, that's kind of the where it's gonna be. There's not much you can do. Um, I'm gonna dig into this a little bit further and see if there are bits that I can improve, but I don't have a lot of hope at this point. Nope, that is a complete fail. So <laughs> if your record looks like this, uh, it's done for. You aren't gonna be able to fix it with the eraser. I'm sorry to tell you that. So just for fun, I've searched out two of the worst condition jackets in my collection. Here's my, uh, the Beatles Live at Hollywood Bowl. It is covered in ring wear, dirt. It looks like it went through a flood. It looks like someone took a bath with it maybe. Um, I'm gonna see if any of this will come out. Uh, the jacket itself is supposed to be cream. It looks brown. <laughs> so uh, very, very low expectations, but we're gonna try. Okay. Wow, okay. So <laughs> the the wa water dam the water damage is still there, but I don't know if it was smoke damage on here or what, but that is lifting right off. Um I think this record was at one point in time completely white and I'm able to reveal that now using the magic of this eraser. However, the watermarks are still staying and are not getting much better. They're getting a little bit lighter actually, but that is a significant improvement. Um, but yeah, I accidentally touched the um, the Hollywood Bowl ticket on here and it took off some of the ink on there. So uh, be very, very careful when you're trying this method. Otherwise you will probably ruin your records when you're actually trying to make them look better. Yeah, so it, worked pretty well. I mean, this would probably take me an hour to go through the whole thing and <laughs> really clean it up. Um, the, a lot of the details aren't going to work, however. Uh, it just kind of looks awkward now. Uh, I don't think this will work for it. If you really want to put in the effort, um, you can probably bring some of the color back to life, but I don't know. Uh, I would say probably don't do this. This will be way too much work and you're probably gonna end up ruining the sleeve. Last but not least, the worst condition jack in my collection, my David Bowie's Hunky Dory. It has seam splits on all three sides. Somehow the record when I bought it actually sounds really good. So I've never replaced this, but it is a mess. Um, there's not much I can do to screw this one up. So I thought this would be a good candidate. The back has, uh, looks like water damage. It's got some stuff that's been picked off of it. It has dirt, it has ink that is transferred onto it. There's paint. This thing's in terrible condition, so I'll see if there's anything I can do to make it look better. Okay, Ooh. nope, that's taking the paper right off. Don't do that, okay? <laughs> okay, so if you have a like tip-on jacket that's paper, 
avoid it. Do not try this method because it will probably ruin it and it will make your terrible looking jacket even worse. So that I guess concludes my experiment. Uh, overall, kind of disappointed in the uh, the magic rub method. Um, I think that this is good for very, very specific cir circumstances. If you have a white or a cream color jacket that is glossy finished and has only minor ink transfer, no other dirt, and the dirt is in an area that is not going to impact any of the printing or the imagery on your records, I think this could work. However, um, I'm hoping that I've proved today that this is kind of a waste of time. Um, records should have character. If you have wear on them, let them be. I think that that tells a story that's kind of cool. I'm not particular about it. I care if the music sounds good and if the record's in good shape. Uh, it's just a bonus if the jacket looks nice, but those are just my thoughts. Anyway, that's the Magic Rub Eraser. Try it if you feel like it. Thanks for watching. <laughs>